Now I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and here I'm going to demo for you the dashboard uh, default layout. So here I'm in my immunization dashboard. Let's say I wanna edit this dashboard. I wanna change the layout. So I'll go to the edit option. And now in the edit menu, you see quite a lot of changes from what you had, we had previously had in, in prior versions of THIS2. And the big one is here, now we have this layout section. And in the layout section, I can change the layout and I can change the layout from free flow, which is what we've always had, or fixed column. And if I do change the fixed column, I can specify the number of columns. So right now it defaults to three, but I can say, I wanna go up to say four columns. And if I click save layout, then you see that my dashboard has automatically changed to having four columns, all right? Then the other option here I have is add new items. And I can add the new items either to the end of the dashboard, which has again, always been the option, or I can do start from the beginning of the dashboard or the top of the dashboard. So let's choose this and let's just add a few items. I'm gonna choose the chart I just made as well as a couple of others that I've made before the session. So I'm gonna insert this one. I'm going to do ANC3, ANC2, ANC1. And there you go. So as I was adding those charts, you see that they came to the top. And you see that I've actually have three different charts here that have a legend applied, ANC1 coverage, ANC2 coverage, ANC3 coverage. And then just for the sake of an example, I have a, another indicator that's per 10,000. So this is um, inpatient cases per 10,000 population. All right, so now I can just save these changes. And here you go. Now we have a new dashboard layout. And hopefully you appreciate how easy it was to reorganize the dashboard by columns and then add my dashboard items either at the top or at the bottom.